ourselves up and we think we as people like when you're living in your world and you have your own things going on sometimes you feel like a piece of shit because you think like you you get into social media and everybody looks like they're so so productive and they're so winning and they're so doing everything and nobody really shows you the part where you had to drag yourself out of bed to fucking get shit done nobody talks about the fact that we're still like a lot of us haven't actually like made it made it in in the field that we actually want to be in so we're actually working a regular nine to five we're actually have children i don't have any children but there are people who have children we're actually living a life while we're pursuing a dream and sometimes that shit gets hard it could get to you it could get to you to the point where sometimes you honestly need to take a break but i feel like some people decide that they're not gonna take a break because they let social media, they let peers get in their head and think and, and make them believe that they're doing less, that they're not really about their dream, if they're not getting no sleep, if they're doing, right, like the Richie Blue's eyes went up. There really are people out here that will fucking talk shit about you because they feel like you're supposed to be only getting four hours of sleep. Like, nah, I've been there, I do, sometimes only get four hours of sleep but i don't recommend it that's not mentally taking care of yourself how can you really be creative and really give your craft anything that you're trying to do if you're not showing up as a whole person and you cannot possibly show up as a whole person if you're only getting four hours and two hours and three hours of sleep you're pouring from basically an empty cup so i'm not saying all that to say like i'm i'm a slacker like i'm lazy but i you know i be going through shit i be going through real life shit and most of the time all i do is fucking work i don't never i don't never really have be having fun like that but um so i said all that to say that no i have not started editing that fucking footage um but the live there are parts of that night that are live on instagram you know usually i take the lives down and in 24 hours or 48 hours and i just left them up there so if you do want to get a glimpse of what we were talking about when we were at night we are talking we are talking about dating are we taking dating too serious are we taking away from enjoying the whole experience of dating experiencing life and naturally meeting people that you have chemistry with like are you blocking yourself from meeting that special someone because you have this long list and these requirements and i know we supposed to as women we are supposed to have this list but like is is that list and those requirements in the time clock that you put put on everything in your life is that is getting in the way of you enjoying dating and enjoying just meeting someone genuinely without a bunch of standards and contracts. It's, it's sometimes I feel like dating feels like a business. And I know some people won't be like, girl, you're just, you're just stupid, but whatever. That's how I feel right now. So we're gonna talk about that and we're gonna bring Richie Blue photos. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. He's a man. So we're gonna get a male's perspective. It's just not gonna be me sitting here talking about dating all on my own. I don't mail bash. I try my hardest not to because I don't believe in that. We need each other. So um, it's good that he's gonna come on and talk to us about that. And also, we will shout out to the Dating is Dead podcast. Yeah, it's a podcast that's called Dating is Dead. They have a whole podcast about it. Shout out to them because one of our questions that we did put on Instagram for our Instagram poll, um, what would you tell your younger self? Like, what advice would you give your younger self about dating relationships? What advice would you give your younger self? So I'm going to be reading some of your inboxes because some of y'all don't like to, like, hit that little sticker thing and actually write it. Y'all like to inbox me. I think y'all like me. It's like... <laughs> Um, but y'all like some of y'all like to inbox me and some of y'all missed the question so y'all inbox me later on but I'm gonna read some of y'all um replies to that and that's pretty much e. what's up Francesco GM 
So that's pretty much it. I'll be reading some of those comments, and I feel like now Richie Blue needs. I got. I'm not used to being on the show by myself, so I feel like Richie Blue needs to uh, join me. He's going to pause. You want to pause the camera, right? We're not going to pause Instagram. So what's everybody sipping on tonight? Make sure sip and discuss. We want you to drink responsibly. Let's put that out there. Disclaimer: We're not asking you to get ripped up from the floor up. But we do like to drink and sip our cocktails while we have these discussions because I feel like it makes people a little bit more comfortable. Leave comments in there. What are y'all sipping on tonight? Do you have any dating advice? What should we tell your younger selves? What you trying to tell yourself now? Because some of us, we hard-headed. And we be knowing. And it's like, we be hard-headed. You know you ain't supposed to be fucking with that nigga. Why you fucking with that nigga? <laughs> that shit fun, B. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, like, I need to 